Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are in the training yard of Eversource Energy in Berlin, Connecticut. Today we will see the first of a series of three videos introducing one of Eversource's newest advanced distribution grid technologies, the triple single recloser. As Eversource senior engineer Tim Callahan will explain, a triple single recloser helps utilities reduce outage duration and frequency by closing single phases at a time. And this video and our focus on advanced distribution grid technology is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Hello, my name is Tim Callahan. I'm a senior engineer for the standards department for Eversource Energy. Today we're going to be talking about the Cooper Triple Single Recloser. The Cooper Triple Single Recloser is the next advancement on our system for distribution reliability. As you can see here, we have the Cooper Triple Single with A, B, and C phases, and we have the control mounted here in our training yard. We've also constructed it to be the most realistic as it would be depicted in the field per our DTRs. You can see the bypass switches here and also the inline switches for the load side for isolation. What it's going to afford Eversource Energy is it's going to take us towards more single phase pole switching. What that means is our basic system is basically a three phase backbone recloser system. Now we will be able to on radial applications independently switch each pole which will help our reliability indices. This is the Cooper Nova 23KV MGY below triple single vacuum recloser which is for radial applications only. It is denoted DTR 18.462. Some of the highlights of this DTR are the actual dimensions which are pretty much depicted here. Also what we have here is we have wedge tap connectors that will be used. We have the normal source, normal load. And some of the notes like this one, no one wedge tap connector shall be used. Also mention of the 600 amp vertical bypass switch and also installation of the inline switches. The back page has all of the DTR variations which you will need to build the pole. Let's take a look at the triple single and look at some of the key characteristics. Um, as we indicated before, what we're getting out of the Cooper triple single is the independent pole switching. So, in other words, we can keep two phases in when one phase is faulted. That's just one example. We can see the source side has the horizontal taps. The vertical side has the load side taps, which is basically the same for our regular Cooper Form 6 Nova uh, reclosers. Also, a very, very important part of the Cooper triple singles is the potential transformer, which you can see right there. The potential transformer helps us put the Cooper triple single on the variety of distribution circuit voltages throughout the Eversource Energy Service Territory. Due to the Cooper triple single's unique characteristics in single pole switching, I need to iterate that this Cooper triple single will only be used on radial applications. Each recloser unit has their own lockout handle as shown here. A yellow lockout handle being pulled disengaging the recloser. Each recloser has their own lockout handle. Only the unit with the yellow handle pulled down to the open position will be locked out. The other two units will not be affected and their yellow operating handles will remain in the closed position. The contact position indicator is located on the outboard side of the sleet hood. The indicator displays the word open green shown. When the recloser contacts are opened and closed red, when closed. In this configuration, all three yellow handles have been pulled down. As shown on each individual phase recloser, there is a four digit mechanical counter. This one reads 217. This is located under the sleet hood, which cumulatively records each time the recloser operates. What is happening now is the bypass switches are being closed in. A, B, and C phase. So, 
here we have the bypass switches being opened again after a, a typical maintenance procedure on the triple single. Middle phase now, bypass switch open. B phase, and now the A phase will be opened. A phase open. So to conclude, that's a brief overview of the operation and characteristics of the Cooper triple single. One note, if you're out in the field and you have questions and you're not sure, please stop and ask. The Standards Group is here to support you. Again, this is Tim Callahan from Eversource Energy. Have a safe day. So that concludes our introduction to a triple single recloser and its operational characteristics. In our next two videos, we will see control features of a triple single recloser and then installation and commissioning. We want to once again thank Burns and McDonald for their sponsorship of this advanced distribution grid technology video. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you as always for watching.